What up, team? Welcome back. This is a new gamer. Today, we're talking about building another team. Today, we're talking about a fan favorite, someone everybody loves, Yellow Jacket. And there's a lot to love about him. He's a really great character. He can deal a lot of damage really fast. And with his uniform, he's even more savage. So, we need to get into this real quick. Talk a little bit about what we can do to make him better. Uh, talk about his skill set and so on and so forth. And then we'll do a little preview on his skills. So, first of all, his leadership applies to all allies. Activation rate, 10% chance when attacking. Paralyzed for 3 seconds. Um, that's paramount. Um... It's really important for crowd control, um, or it's really important to have crowd control on a character. Um, and Paralyze is probably one of the, it's, it's a good way to do it. Uh, because you basically just, just you can't move, lol. Um, which can be really frustrating to your opponents. Uh, his 4 star passive is uh, when his HP is below 80%, um, so pretty much all the time. Um, it'll increase his crit rate, it'll decrease his size, and it'll increase his attack power by 15%. His tier 2 passive will enhance the effect of this skill. I don't know how, by how much, I don't know by how much, uh, but it does increase it. So it enhances the effects of that skill. And then this is increasing his crit damage. Increasing his guaranteed crit rate and increasing his guaranteed dodge rate. His guaranteed crit rate increased by 20% is monstrous. Um, that's very, very good. Uh, and his dodge rate is kind of whatever. Uh, his skills are kind of vanilla. Um, it's pretty much, you know, we'll do some damage and some more damage. We're going to do some damage and some more damage. Damage and more damage. Damage and more damage. And then on his fifth skill applies to enemies, it'll paralyze them for three seconds. <clears throat> so if your one through four skills didn't paralyze him, uh, then your fifth skill will paralyze him, which is great. Um, I don't know if it stacks, so I don't know if you trigger the fifth skill, will you also get to trigger your leadership as well. His uniform not much changes um, other than an attack boost. Um, and if we actually go in and take a look at his uniform, we will be able to see. Where is, he? Where is Yellow Jacket? So it increases damage dealt to superhero type characters by 25%. This is excellent. And then one skill changes uh, to deal some additional damage. That's about it. So the uniform is great, especially for PvP. In terms of an obelisk, you'll probably want to go with something along the lines of increasing crit damage or increasing his crit rate. Or even his, I would, I would probably recommend ignore dodge, uh, not ignore dodge, ignore defense. In getting his ignore defense up as much as you can, uh, so that you can really take advantage of the uh, of his increases in crit damage, and you can take advantage uh, a lot more of his uh, his leadership ability. Uh, in terms of Yuru, I would probably say skill cooldown for Yuru. Uh, skill cooldown for Yuru. Uh, energy attack and ignore defense. Um, in terms of his gears, his first and his second gear. I mean, those recommendations for a first and second gear are usually going to be pretty vanilla. Um, you know, it's either going to be. On the first gear, it'll usually be either physical attack or energy attack per level for the first two gears, and then the rest either all attack or physical or energy, and then the same is also true for 
The same is also true for his second gear, which would be, you know, energy defense or physical defense per level on the first two gears, and then the rest all defense or energy defense, physical defense. It really just depends on are you going to be using this character for PvP, are you going to be using him for PvE, are you going to be using him for Conquest, you know, or Shadowlands. So that will really determine how you're going to build him from there. His third gear um, is pretty... Uh, I, I, I usually do HP per level, and then, you know, I'll, I'll try and make a decision from there based on, based on what I'm going to use him for. So usually... Will be where is he? I know he's tier two here, but I haven't really spent much time building him. So yeah, I haven't really done much in the way here. I wouldn't really waste my time um, on movement speed. You might want to consider doing a keeper level on the first two gears, and then dodge on the rest uh, because he already has the increase to his dodge rate. Um, so it would either be dodge or HP. And then on this last one, I would probably want to focus on crit damage. Um, so I'd probably do the last two or three as crit damage and then the rest as ignore defense or skill cooldown depending on, <coughs> on how you want to build up his Euro. So is Yellow Jacket worth it? I think Yellow Jacket is still worth it, even though we have a bunch of new characters that came out. We have the Sinister Six that came out. Um, we have the X-Men that came out. He is still a very good utility character. Um, he can very easily solo clear Shadowlands. And the ability to paralyze opponents um, is good in terms of Alliance Battle. It's good in terms of Conquest. It's also good in terms of Timeline. The ability to stop your opponent from moving uh, is critical. So, you know, this is a very good utility character. I would definitely recommend tier 2 him if you've already been working on him. And if you haven't been working on him and you're considering it, yes, absolutely do it, 100%. Um, take a look at who his strikers are. <clears throat> Ooh, Carnage is a striker, Caecilius. Ooh, Venom is a striker as well. But Ant-Man is not. Hmm. Wasp is also not a striker. Interesting. Take a look at his team-ups. Wow. No one who's a striker for him is on his team. Well, that's not true. So the only big team-up that they have for him, or the only triple, the only triple threat, as it were that they have for him is Team Pym, which is Giant Man and Ant-Man. Two characters who will be getting into much later on because alphabeti alphabetically they're, they're way up there. <coughs> so yeah, this is, this is pretty much it. Um, this is pretty much it for him. Do a, little, uh, do a little preview on his skill. And then we'll also come back and we'll do a... So yeah, as you can see, his skills are pretty vanilla. There's nothing really... Oh my god, amazing about it. Doesn't really do too much. But you would be surprised that that fifth skill can be a nightmare to deal with. We'll check him out on his uni too. There's not going to be too much of a difference here. Change his fourth skill, which is kind of cool. This one also changes. No, it doesn't. It's just that I had canceled it the first time. Yeah. 
So that's pretty much it. <clears throat> if you got any questions, comments, uh, you got any suggestions, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Holler at your boy. We got content coming out pretty much all the time. Um, and don't forget to check out the live stream. Uh, I will usually put reminders. So if you subscribe and you put a notification, you will get a reminder when the live stream is going to come on. Holler at your boy. And forgive me, I'm a little bit... Like, my whole shit's kind of, like, fucked up right now. That's because I'm tired. I just legit woke up. And I gotta run to work. So... Peace!